Welcome back to Michael's Kitchen, and we got Euros, American Euros, not from the fan, not from Greece and farmland, American Euros tonight. So, backstory: this is near and dear. If you're from New York, Francis Lewis Boulevard, Northern Boulevard, Fontana's, best Euros out, and go there all the time afterward, after after clubbing, after hanging out, and get full of tzatziki sauce everywhere. Don't know how we got tzatziki sauce on the roof of the car, but. Anyway, that's what we're making tonight. We're making it home style. Shout out to Severo, Uncle Severo, who, I mean, he was raised on Fontana. So again, we're going to make it Michael style, some homemade American style heroes. Here we go. What we'll need. I got a pound of lamb, a pound of ground beef, ground lamb, ground beef. I got one small yellow onion. I got two tablespoons of breadcrumbs, three sprigs of rosemary, uh, one teaspoon of oregano, one teaspoon of cumin, one teaspoon of paprika, and, and you could use salt and pepper, but I'm using, I don't know if it's going to make it in, that, in, the, in the video, I'm using Greek all-purpose seasoning, which is going to replace the salt, the pepper, and a few other ingredients, but I'm using that instead of my salt, and I've got two, take, two teaspoons, one for each pound. So I'm going to get this ground, I'm going to grind Finally chop this and then I get the onions ready and then I'm going to combine. So I'll be back in a few seconds. So while you were gone, I remembered I need garlic. You guys know Michael's Kitchen, we're going to have garlic in everything we cook practically. Chopped up our onion and ground up my knife, my fine, beautiful knife skills, those three sprigs of rosemary. Now we're going to combine. So hopefully that you guys can see this. Can you see that? I'm going to combine the one pound of ground lamb. Sorry, Kim H. She hates lamb. Or well, she doesn't like lamb. We love lamb here. And one pound of ground beef. And then I'm going to put in all my ingredients. The Greek seasonings. Rika. Wonderful cumin. Oregano. Some breadcrumbs. And the rest of everything else we put in here. So all the rosemary, and of course, the onions. And if you don't know, typically you go to the Greek restaurants and they have the lamb meat on the spigot, right? A little loaf spinning around, that's what I'm replicating. So now I'm gonna get my hands ready, and I'll be right back. As I was cleaning up, I. Again, forgot the garlic. I forgot to mention in the beginning and I forgot to crush them. So I'm going to make sure I get our garlic in there. Ooh, that was a juicy one. Garlic is in. Now, time to have a lot of fun. You guys remember our smoked meatloaf recipe? This is the same concept. The only difference is I don't care if I overwork the meat. Not when I care because I want it to get the meatloaf to be juicy. This way I don't care. I'm, I can be as rough and tough as I want as long as all the ingredients are incorporated. And for those of you that like garlic and rosemary, it's already smelling good. I haven't even started cooking yet. So I got that all the ingredients incorporated and now I'm going to put this into my loaf pan. So I'm coming over here. So you can see that. I've had that here the entire time. I'm going to put that in a little pan, and this I want compressed. And that is looking good. Hopefully it's going to be tasting even better than it looks. In the oven for 45 to 50 minutes, this size. So can you see that? And here we go. 45 minutes are up, time to take it out of the oven. And that's already looking delicious. Can you guys see that? Mm -hmm. So, here comes the hard part with doing it this way. <laughs> now we gotta wait. So we're gonna let this cool, and then I'm gonna wrap it in plastic, and I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator till tomorrow. Eight hours cooling is fine. As long as we can cool it and slice it so we can fry it up, then you'll see the next steps. But exciting times ahead. And it smells good. Delicious. 
no way. <laughs> Be right back. So my lamb is out, cooled all night, wrapped it in saran wrap. Now I'm going to work on my tzatziki sauce. So tzatziki, super simple. Take your grater, and I know my, someone here does not like cucumber skin. I'm not going to say who. I'm looking at you, so I'm going to peel the cucumber because they will complain if the cucumber is in there. And then I'll go ahead and get my box grater and ensure it's ketchup. And I'll just go ahead and grate about a quarter of this. Everything you see here is to taste. So if you don't like a lot of cucumber, don't add a lot of cucumber. And then I'll take this out and place this onto the, what is this called? Paper towel. I was going to say, say tablecloth. Paper towel. Paper towel. Oh my god. And the whole purpose of this is I don't want all that liquid. I, just, I want the cucumber flavor, but I don't want all the liquid. So I'll squeeze this out. Can you guys see the liquid coming out? Yeah. Then go ahead and take that and add it to your Greek yogurt. So this is going to get added to my Greek yogurt. Don't get the regular yogurt. Make sure it's Greek plain yogurt. So I've added the cucumbers to about a cup and a half of Greek yogurt. Is that in there? Is that in there? And then I'm going to go ahead and take juice of half a, I get this wrong, and I should know that this is a wow. lime and not a lemon. Juice of one half of a lime. And then, of course, you guys already know, got my, my friend out already. I'm gonna probably, I'm gonna, this is again to taste, so I'm gonna try with three cloves of garlic. And then if I need more, I'll just go ahead and add more. And instead of salt, you guys learned from yesterday, I'm using this Greek, the Greek seasoning. Probably about one teaspoon to start. <laughs> Part of the noise. One teaspoon to start, and then go ahead and mix and combine all your ingredients. Some people like dill in there, I don't. So I'm making this sauce the way I like it, because this is Michael's Kitchen, baby. And it's already looking fantastic. But only one way to find out if it's decent, because remember, I want to make sure the flavor is good. Just take a little culprit here. That's perfect. So I'm going to get this in the fridge cooling, and now I'll show you the next steps. So I got my meat out of the refrigerator, cooled overnight. I'm going to go ahead and take this out and put this on my cutting board. And from here, I guess I'll do halvesies. So I'll do about a quarter inch slices and maybe two thick. So I'll go a little bit thinner. Yeah, that's better. Again, this is I'm trying to mimic the shave euros, the euro meat that we get uh, at the restaurants. Well, that's better. And then from here, this is the fun part. Take some oil. Once the glove comes off, take some olive oil. From the bottom of my pan that's been heating up here, and just give color to each side. So I'll make a good slice and start placing them in. So there I've done about 30 seconds aside, and that's the color I'm after. Just the toasted, toasted meat. And this is what I'll build my gyro with. I'll go ahead and brown off a few more slices, and then you'll see the, the, the finished product. 
So done toasting some of these pieces up. I still have quite a bit here for when we really start to eat because this is just practice run. <laughs> and then I'll get this out of the way and we'll start building our gyro. So I went to the market, got some pita bread. So controversy begins. I like tzatziki base. Nice little spread. And then of course we got our part of the reach. We've got our gorgeous meat here. And since this is mine, I can take the good pieces, the bigger ones. Which one? This one that also has my name. Look at that. And then of course we're gonna add just a dollop. <laughs> Made it for a reason. I told you, I told you beginning of this video, Fontana's you leave and you got gyro, you got tzatziki sauce everywhere. And then of course, we'll finish with a few onions. And since you guys are watching, I'm not gonna go crazy with the onions. And then of course, can't forget our gorgeous tomatoes. Sandwich is complete. But the proof is, as they say, in the pudding. The Greek seasoning, I'm telling you, that's delicious. And the tzatziki sauce, boom, party in my mouth. This is, this is perfect. I don't gotta go to Francis Lewis Boulevard <laughs> and put on a mask. Guys, if you like this video, like the video. Comment down below if there's anything you want to try or make. If you've been to Fontana's, comment down below. If you know what I'm talking about, comment down below. Subscribe for more. That said, bitch. I want them for.